Luke 1 and 26. Look what it said. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin name was Mary. The angel came unto her and said, Hail, thou art highly favored. <laughs> Tell your name. We're just going to take the word for what it said. Highly, highly favored. favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. Look at this. This ain't funny. God highly favored her and blessed her. And it says what? Baby, God is about to do some things if your mind is not up to par. Like she said, this thing troubled her. She want to know what type of salutation, what, 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 what is this? John said, what manner of love is this that the Father has bestowed upon us that we shall be called the Son of God? For it does not appear what we shall be like. But one thing we do know, that we shall be like him baby I come to tell you God is about to do something I was reading amen before I came out here trying to decide which way to go and God was talking about amen Peter and John when they went up to the temple and found the man laid at the gate called beautiful and they told him sip and go we have not but such as we do have amen take up your bed and walk and they said how the counselor got these men together and brought them together and began to counsel them and wanted them to know by what name did y'all do this by what what name have this miracle been done? I come to tell you, baby, and after they examined the thing, they said by the name of Jesus, the same rock that y'all rejected, the same Christ that y'all killed and all this, we does it by his name. And the Bible said that the counselor said, you can't deny this because this is a notable deed. You can't deny this. I come to tell you, baby, God is about to do something in your life that your haters can't deny, your enemy can't deny, your kid folks can't deny the church folk can't deny I come to tell you God is about to blow your mind high five somebody said can you handle what God is about to do Baby, if you can't handle what God is about to do, you better get back on your knees. You better go back to the upper room. You better get back in the prayer meeting and say, God, fix my mind. Third time, blah, blah, blah. Take your seat here. Take your seat. I'm about through, but look, look. such authority, Bunny. Max Holiday, they worked up the miracle, baby. Because all the Pharisees and judges and counselors knew this man been laying here for 38 years. Asking for alms. And y'all come along, what he asked him for, y'all told him we ain't got what you asked him for. So that right there struck their attention. This man been 38 years he been asking for one thing, arms. And, and y'all coming, the first thing that, that, that he asked him for, y'all tell him, we ain't got that. Sip and go, we don't have. But such as we do have. Baby, you got to know what you're packing. <laughs> tell your neighbor, ask your neighbor, do you know what you're packing? But I, I come to tell you. Huh? Baby, I don't care what the next man got, but do you know what you got? I don't care. <laughs> Do you know what you're packing? I come to tell you because they thought, hey amen, it was going to take silver and gold to get him out of the situation that he had. Because for 38 years, everybody bought money, but he had moved. Tell them for 38 years, everybody came by, but his situation didn't change. Take your seat here. I got news for some of y'all. 
Y'all situation haven't changed. And for 38 years, this man's situation, Larry, haven't changed. Notice his desire. Mm. Was armed. His desire. Melanie was sipping gold. See, sometimes you uh, think you know best. Mama thinks she knows best. Daddy thinks he knows best. Sometimes dealing with your own situation, you come up with the analogy that you think, I need this just to make it. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all sitting here now, amen, the, the limited God because you think, is God can just only give me what I need. Baby, I come to tell you, you're going to be there 38 more years. What you need to do is say, God, you fix it. All you need to say, God is in your hand. And so here they come for 38 years. He looked up, he needed, he wanted some all. Mm -hmm. Now here come these men of God who he fixed his eye on. I mean, he locked in on. Yeah. Baby, I don't care what nobody say. The world know you're a woman of God. The world know you're a man of God. There's something about your swagger. There's something about your demeanor. There's something about your glow. There's something about the way you carry yourself. I don't know. It might be in your walk. It could be in your pimp, baby. I don't know, but don't change it. Because there's something about the way you come. They uh, look on you or fall off. Uh, and they can tell this is a woman of God. Uh, this is a man of God. Uh, he fixed his eyes on them or fall off. Uh, and when they got up to the gate, uh, he said, now, I, I, the man saying, I need some silver. Uh, shut up. We ain't, I ain't got no silver. Uh, because you don't know who I am. Uh, and I come to tell you for 38 years, uh, silver didn't work. For 38 years, money didn't work. For 38 years, reefer didn't work. For 38 years, a gin, liquor, alcohol, another woman, another man, another woman and man didn't work. For 38 years. Now here come the man of God. Here come the apostle. Here come the bishop. Here come a man of God before off. We know that there's something different about you, Moses. When you went up to fellowship with God, you were just an ordinary man. But Moses, when you came down from the mount. Huh, there was a glory on you. Huh. I come to tell you, baby, huh, you don't have to tell nobody. Huh. I've been on a 40-day fast. Huh. You don't have to tell nobody. Huh. I've been on a 50-day fast. Huh. You don't have to tell nobody. I ain't that since last night, but I come to tell you, that's a glory God is about to put on you. But I do know it's for life. That his anger is yet but for a moment. But his favor is for life. So you might as well tell somebody, if I'm planning on operating in the favor of God the rest of my life, I know I got to bring my mind set up to what God is about to do. I, 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 because, baby, I come to tell you, if I'm an air guard and join heirs of Jesus Christ and I'm a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people that'll come out of darkness into his marvelous life, I got to get to thinking like royalty 